Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today's video is part two of a series of lessons to teach you vocabulary from the pilot episode of the American TV show Big Bang Theory. And this video is another one that is made of two other videos that I made before to use for Instagram and IGTV. So Penny says, I'm so sorry, I'm such a mess. On top of everything else, I'm all gross from moving and my stupid shower doesn't even work. Now, there are a few things in this sentence that I want to explain. When she says, I'm a mess, she means a lot of things in her life right at that moment are not going well at all. It's going bad. And she feels upset and bad. And on top of everything else means that in addition to everything else that has gone wrong, also her shower doesn't work. So and by gross, she means she feels dirty and like she needs to get cleaned up. But she can't because her shower is broke. Gross can also mean that something is disgusting. So she is saying that she feels bad because she seems to be upset and has a lot of problems. And also her shower isn't working, so she doesn't even feel clean. A little later, Sheldon uses the phrase, rip our eyes out in the sentence. It has been some time since we've had a woman take her clothes off, after which we didn't want to rip our eyes out. And that's kind of a complicated sentence. He was talking to Leonard about how some other relative of his was there one time and they accidentally saw her naked. So rip our eyes out or rip your eyes out, some variation, different variations of that saying, um, of ripping eyes out. It isn't literal, of course. It means that you saw something that was very unpleasant or gross or disgusting and that you would rather pull your eyes out so that you can't see it rather than so that you can't see it all rather than see the thing that is being talked about in this case instead of seeing an attractive woman they were talking about seeing a naked woman naked that they didn't think was attractive a sample sentence with that is the movie was so bad that we wanted to rip our eyes out Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com and today I have another lesson teaching vocabulary from the first episode of Big Bang Theory for Fun Fluency Friday. I think this is the fourth one I've had so far and there is still more vocabulary in that first episode that I haven't explained yet and I'm sure a lot of it people would need help with but I will keep going and make more videos about this. The first word for today is a phrasal verb, break up. But you should know it's also used as a noun as one word. It means for a relationship to end. For example, if two people are dating and they don't want to see each other anymore, they might break up. So in the episode, Leonard and Sheldon are in a car and Leonard says, you know how it is with breakups. And Sheldon says, no, I don't, and neither do you. And Leonard says, I broke up with Joyce Kim. And Sheldon says, you did not break up with Joyce Kim. She defected to North Korea. And they're having this conversation because Penny has the old boyfriend that she broke up with has her television. And Sheldon and Leonard agreed to go to his apartment to try to get her TV back from her. But the thing is, neither of them have really dated much, so they really haven't had experience with breakups. In the first sentence, Leonard says, you know how it is with breakups. He's taught, he's using it there as a noun, as one word. And the other times it's used as a phrasal verb. When Leonard says, I broke up with Joyce Kim, then it's using it in the past tense, broke up. And then Sheldon uses it in the present tense when he says, you did not break up with Joyce Kim. The next one I want to teach you today is to have a scene or make a scene. For me, I think mostly I've heard people say make a scene rather than have a scene, but 
basically it means to do something in public that is very emotional, like fighting or arguing about something. So there's Sheldon and Leonard st are still in the car. And Leonard says to Sheldon, she just wanted to avoid having a scene with him. Now, I probably would have said she wanted to avoid making a scene with him or avoid, wanted to avoid making a scene. That's why she sent Sheldon and Leonard to get her television rather than her going to try to get the, her television from her old boyfriend. Now, when, when Sheldon and Leonard get to her old boyfriend's apartment and they talk to him on an intercom and he, they tell him why they're there, he yells out, get lost. Now, that's a simple one. When someone tells you to get lost, it means that they want you to go away. A very rude way of saying go away. After Penny's old boyfriend says, get lost, Leonard says, we're not going to give up just like that. And then he says, if I were to give up at the first little hitch, I would never have been able to identify the fingerprints of string theory in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Anyway, he's saying, when he says the little hitch, he means a problem. So he says, if I were to give up at the first little hitch, if I would give up with the first problem I had, I never would have been able to do the physics I did related to the Big Bang theory and string theory. And that's all for this week. Don't forget to come back Monday to get more help to keep you motivated to keep improving your English. If you would like to learn more English like this, then please click over here or tell me in the comments so that we can keep in touch. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.